Episode 1, Trainer, Pokemon, and Prospect. This is where our story begins, in the Kanto region's Pallet Town. And this is Hunter, and today he begins his Pokemon journey. After watching a battle on his TV, he grabs his bag and heads on downstairs. He talks to his mom, telling her how excited he is that he is finally going to become a Pokemon trainer, but explains how he isn't sure of which starter Pokemon to choose from. His mom says to follow what his heart thinks is best, no matter what other people may think. He happily thanks his mom and says goodbye before running out the door to go to Professor Oak's lab. He gets to the front of Oak's lab and notices a light coming from a tiny cave, but doesn't think anything of it and continues on inside. After going inside, he notices that everyone seems like they are looking for something. He asks about what is going on, and Professor Oak begins to greet him and tell him about the situation, until his childhood rival Ace jumps in, calls him an idiot, and says that if he'd look at the couch, he would see that where the three starters are supposed to be sitting, Charmander is missing. Aram, who comes from Viridian City, jumps in and tells him that if he hadn't been saying that Charmander was the worst one to choose when it came down to facing the first two gym leaders of this region, it wouldn't have ran out of the lab crying. He scoffs at her and says how it's true, and that anyone who chooses it would be stupid to if they ever planned to challenge the gyms. Hunter then thinks about how he saw that light from that cave and rushes out to go check there. He goes and looks inside the cave and sees Charmander at the very bottom of it. He quickly jumps to the bottom to get Charmander out safely, but slips and falls all the way to the bottom on his way down. This makes Charmander laugh and not feel as scared anymore, trusting Hunter to carry it out to safety. He carries Charmander back to Professor Oaks, and now Hunter, Ace, and Aram are finally ready to choose their starter Pokemon. They all agree that since Hunter found Charmander, he should get the first choice between the three. He doesn't hesitate for a second and chooses Charmander as his partner as him finding him must have been a sign that they were meant to trust each other and become the greatest of friends. After that, Ace decides to take the advantage type to Hunter's choice and chooses Squirtle, and Aram happily takes Bulbasaur, as it fits her plant-themed name. Professor Oak gives the three trainers each a Pokeball and Pokedex to set out on their adventure with. He also tells the trio that the path a Pokemon trainer can take is up to them and them alone, and no matter the path, it just matters to have a great bond with your Pokemon at all times, and to treat them with trust and love throughout the journey. For that is what it truly means to be a Pokemon trainer. As Professor Oak wishes them safe travels, they all thank him and head out on their own way. After they head outside, Ace continues to make fun of Hunter for choosing the Fire-type starter out of the three, because he knows he'll have a hard time getting through the first two gyms Hunter responds, telling him that he'll show him how strong they will get together, and that he's never going to give up, because his true goal is to become the very best trainer, like no one ever was. Ace laughs at Hunter, but Aram says she respects that determination to reach such great heights, and wishes everyone the best of luck as the two head out. Hunter then heads home before leaving, and lets Charmander meet his mom and her Pokemon Meowth. As the Pokemon hang out, Hunter's mom tells him that she is going to always be there to support him throughout his journey no matter what, and to give it everything he's got as the shades of his journey await. She wishes him and Charmander the best of luck. As Hunter thanks her in response, him and Charmander say goodbye as the two head out to start their adventure together. After Hunter and Charmander go outside, they hear a noise coming from the sea south of them. They look out and see a large flying Pokemon flying out of the water and they are absolutely mesmerized by it as it dives back into the sea. The two of them are shocked at what they just saw, and Hunter promises Charmander that someday they're both gonna meet and battle that Pokemon side by side. The two of them then look on ahead as the world of Pokemon awaits them, as their journey now finally begins. All right, and that wraps up episode one of Pokemon Prospect. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button over there as well. I really, really appreciate your guys' support and the long, long wait it took for this series to come out. But I will say so far, I have been really enjoying putting this together. Uh, voicing it over is a little tough, but I'm gonna get better at that as time goes on. Editing this and putting soundtracks into it, it is so much fun. 
and it definitely brings back my drive even more for doing content again. So just wanted to say thank you guys so, so much for the support once again. Like I said, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care.